Hi friends, in Planet Earth Dating it's Thursday, December 14th, 2017. In both the Lynn Life and the Jamie Body Mind, the authorized souls remain only child souls from the deeper, denser dimensions and all other souls from all other dimensions as long as they're already living by the Search for Truth rules given to the Search for Truth community by wiser minds above all of us and are already contributing more to completing the Search for Truth assignments given to the Search for Truth community by wiser minds above all of us than they are taking or using or borrowing in Search for Truth resources. One of the hallmarks of this effort is for each of us as individuated sentiences to contribute more to the greater good than we ourselves are taking or using or borrowing. As always, our foundational intention is to do what is ours to do right now in all dimensions to manifest the divine plan for all dimensions, the data very clearly showing that the only dimensions in which we are able to achieve results are dimensions smaller than this one known as ground zero, the dimension in which these host lives are experiencing primary sentience. And with that, the formally videoed portions of today's efforts begin. These crows are, are looking for something. One of them lit right on yes. that branch. It's looking at us from way up high. What now? What now? In order to create deeper denser dimension worlds that work in the even deeper denser dimensions for all categories of even deeper denser dimension sentience what now in order to create even deeper denser dimension worlds that work for all categories of even deeper denser dimension sentience what now in order to heal the root cause of selfishness ingratitude and dodging responsibility in all dimensions. All we can do is crunch and juice and burn until a better idea comes in. But we can crunch and juice and burn selfishness <coughs> in all dimensions, ingratitude in all dimensions, and dodging responsibility in all dimensions and burn it with the intention to power the probes in the race for truth. We can do that. That's true. Try and reach higher, 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 see if we can get to Ursa Major and then to that slovenly woman who was supposed to be the death tunnel and then to maybe that Minneapolis St. Paul place that was supposed to do something and then from there to that Lady USA dimension way up high. I'm not convinced that window of opportunity is still open. No, it doesn't feel open anymore. No. But when we reach higher, everything is so fuzzy and nebulous and hazy that That's true. I, I think I think uh, the answer to your question is, as high as we are able to reach right now, there does not seem to be a larger presence of whom we are a part who wants to live their own soul plan. That's true. That's the answer to the question. Why do you ask? There's that feeling that they're trying to keep us busy while they figure out what it is they're supposed to be asking. I understand that. I understand that very well. Yeah, I also. How am I exactly like that? Well, if we're looking for busy work to do, let's pump up dead children who really want to get to God. Just right up the backs of our heels, up the backs of these ground zero host lives and up the backs of the ancient interdimensional highway since we don't seem to have a higher larger level presence who wants to do what it is that they promised spirit in their sacred vows they would do but we can pump it up the ancient interdimensional highway nothing matters more than survival of the truth nothing matters more than survival of the truth we can tune Nothing matters more than survival of the truth. And we can separate 50% most true 
from 50% least true and right away burn the 50% least true with the intention to burn untruth, extract truth, empower the probes in the race for truth. I feel so good. They're talking about Saul. Yes, it's true. I'm sorry, what is it? Well, it's really a little bit bigoted for you to talk about Saul and not talk about Isis. They seem to be at least sharing the work 50-50. That's true. In running that organization, and they've accumulated a decent-sized organization. <laughs> what about Saul and Isis? What is it about Saul and Isis? Meanwhile, we can tune here in these inner worlds. Everyone stands on his it's or her right. own oh, merits, regardless of size, gender, gender sexual, sexual orientation, orientation or, or dimension, dimension of, of origin. origin. What now? What now? What now? In order to update the antiquated laws of karmic attribution, so everyone stands on his or her own merits in all dimensions, regardless of size, gender, sexual orientation, or dimension of origin. What now to update those antiquated laws? What now? I would call that a notable lack of interest in that question. I also, but it just got very quiet. It got very quiet. Oh, there's that feeling of us asking questions that they don't want to accept. That's true. They're waiting for us to ask approved questions. questions. Oh, it's the Schopenhauer menu list. It's th they That's want right. us to ask superficialities that can be answered in platitudes. Yes, and someone up there keeps talking about gate gate paragate parasam gate bodhisaha. Mm -hmm. Someone in that room. Mm -hmm. I hear you. Well, it's unfortunate that when the Buddha taught either 43 or 44 or 45 or 46 years, depending on who you read and what they say, uh, and when he put together his writings in a hundred thousand verses, he managed to say what he felt was the core of his teachings. And there was presumably some criticism that that was too long a book to read. <laughs> So he whittled it down to 20,000 verses, or it was whittled down to 20,000 verses. And that was also deemed too long, and so it was whittled down again to 8,000 verses. And strangely enough, what seems to survive most predominantly is the Heart Sutra, Gate, Gate, Paragate, Parasamgate, Bodhisvaha, and it's a mantra, a chant, that means uh, beyond, beyond, far beyond, very much farther beyond, keep going. In effect, right direction, keep going. And you will have moments of enlightenment, enlightenment experiences, and then continue. Gate, gate, bara gate, go farther. Bara sam gate, go much farther. Bodhi, which is, quote, enlightenment, which just means Ah, a portal is opening for a fleeting moment. Svaha, which is something like Hallelujah. Gate, gate, paragate, parasam gate, bodhisvaha. That is not at all the answer they were hoping for. It's a crazy thing to latch on to that. The teaching that just says keep going, right direction, keep going. Why are we talking about that? Why aren't we talking about the hundred thousand? verses where the Buddha said, this is what actually works. And everybody, I guess, says, oh, that's too hard. <laughs> that's true. What now? What now, in order to create even deeper, denser dimension worlds that work for all categories of even deeper, denser dimension sentience, what now? We can just keep pumping up dead children who really want to get to God from wherever Pan is working, which is usually about as deep as we're able to connect with right now. That's true. And send them up, straight up the ancient <coughs> interdimensional highway with the intention to get them 
past the end of the highway. Gate, gate, para gate, para sam gate. Keep going, right direction, keep going. See if we can shoot these dead kids out the end of the ancient interdimensional highway, way up high. I do see kids who seem to be past the end of the road. That's true. And they look like children, not like adults. They look like children. Okay, good. Well, let's send up a bunch of kids past the end of the road. <coughs> Maybe we can call for all the horses from these dimensions and even deeper, denser dimensions. Dead horses who really want to get to God to have a chariot race straight up the ancient interdimensional highway. Or just a good old-fashioned horse race. I feel a lot of horse souls running. A lot of running. horse souls are running straight up. First one to get higher than anybody has ever gotten before wins. And you have to pass the end of the road and all those children and keep going. Gate, gate, para gate, para sam gate, bodhis paha. I hear that related soul of Pan who's trying to get him to not stir things up. Yeah. Singing that father son Cat Stevens song, It's Not Time to Make a Change, Just Sit Back take it slowly you're still young that's your fault there's so much you have to learn you're wrong friend I was once as you are now uh, could apply both ways and I know that it's in fact very easy to sit back and do nothing when you find something wrong going on that's true it's not time to think a lot it's time to get up and help the even deeper denser dimensions they're suffering terribly it's time to help. It's time to turn around and help someone. Turn around to help someone in greater need. Turn around to help the even more dispossessed. Turn around to help the even less powerful. Turn around and help them. All of us. Everything is poisoned and no one is coming to help. What are each of us as individuals going to do to make it right? Buddhism was an effort to help people let go of their insane, crazy thinking so that they could turn around and help someone. Not just to get peace in their heart. That was the first step. And now take it out into the world, make a difference, help. It is time to make a change. It's time. Now is the time. We are the ones. All of us, every I, every me, every us, every we, we are the ones. And now is the time. Sighting up the big open tunnel. The highest presence we can connect right with right now. Maybe who's outside the contamination zone? Outside the contamination zone. The highest presence we can connect with right now who's, who believes himself or herself to be outside the contamination zone. And then go through tears. Because the second tear is looking down on the first and saying, they're well into the contamination zone. And the first tear wholeheartedly believes themselves to be out of it. And the third tier looking down on the second is tisking and saying, those poor deluded fools. That's true. And the fifth tier is looking down on the third and fourth tiers and saying, oh gracious, how can they be so confused? And the tenth tier is looking down on all of them and beginning to look up and wondering, how far does the contamination go? Gate, gate, para gate, para sam gate. Keep going, friend, so much farther than we think. When you start to fall down, as is inevitable, get off at that level. Tell the presence is what you've discovered. Ask why it happened that way and ask them to send you up higher. Keep going. 